Uh, this one's called Food Addiction, and it's one of our favorite tards. Here we go. Last one. What's in the box? Last one. Swoleflation in the house. I never want to invalidate someone's lived experience, but... I'm sure you don't. I'm really sorry I have to play this video, but fuck, I hate her voice. I just really hate her voice. This is my show, so I can make fun of whatever I want, and it's really, really hard to listen to. Fuck. This sucks. The next 53 seconds are gonna absolutely suck a huge dick. Which I wish I could, but no one likes me, because I'm too fucking annoying. I will say that when I interact with someone and they say something like, I have a food addiction problem, I do push back on that a little bit because I think it's important to unpack. Do you truly have an addictive relationship with something that you need to consume every day? Yes. 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 Oh, all food is equal? Come on, tell me there's more than three brain cells up there. I can't imagine all that vapid space. I can't imagine just like the echo, just boom, boom. Like she has three brain cells playing Pong upstairs, like boom, 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 boom. It's like brick out going on, like Arkanoid in her fucking head. Holy shit. <sighs> fucking eight bit all star over here. What is going on? Do you really think you're addicted to something you need every day? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Alcohol has calories. So anything that has a calorie can just go in your mouth. Of course, you're eating industrial waste. You're eating food that is designed to get you addicted. They come out and they tell you they're going to addict you. Pringles, once you pop, you can't stop. Sounds like meth to me. Lays, bet you can't eat just one. Ho oh, ho wouldn't you like that? Packed with soy and canola oil and safflower oil and just fucking grease and food starch and corn starch and shit like that. They want you to be addicted to it. It's how they make all their money, Abby. Isn't that your name, Abby? <laughs> Grizzly, imagine hearing your voice in the sack. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because Dickens? Yeah. Oh, PETA. Ah. Or is it that you have a very restrictive mentality around food that causes you to engage in binge and restrict cycles that maybe you think of as addiction, but are really just the product of repeated restriction? Because oftentimes the people who I talk to who claim to feel like they're totally out of control around food have incredibly restrictive mindsets around food to begin with. I think it's important to unpack these things. What about you? No, I don't. I don't. 